Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the MacBook Pro 14-inch 2021, which is the notebook that we have right here. So we recently unboxed this video on this channel. So if you did miss that video, I'm going to link it on the description section below so that you can go and catch up on it. And then you can come back to this one and then get the full review of this MacBook Pro. So I am just want to start by appreciating how Apple managed to pull this one. Uh, I know most people are saying that the design is bulky and stuff and so forth. But for me, looking at the functionality, looking at the portability and everything that they managed to put in this, it's actually so great. And every feature that most of us actually wanted, uh, I mean, those who are using the MacBooks, so they basically are put in here or they're bundled on this notebook right over here. So I'm going to start by size in terms of the weight. So this actually weighs in 1.6 kilogram in terms of weight. So you basically, it's easier for you to carry it. So whether you're carrying it like this or like that, whichever uh, orientation you would like to carry it, it's actually not that bad uh, compared maybe to the 16 inch, which is like about 2.1 kilogram. But however, this one is 1.6 and it's basically easy for you to carry around. I know sometimes the design may actually, uh, you look at it and believe that it's gonna be like more heavier but it's not as heavy as it looks because you would think that this is actually uh, a metal or aluminum, which means that it's gonna be heavy, but it's really not that heavy. So in terms of the size, uh, it's actually okay. I'm, I'm, I'm carrying this easy, even together with the charger. When you put it on the backpack, you just slide in simple. It's easy to carry around with your hand. So it's basically more like a tablet size or an iPad size, which, which means it should be way easier for you to work in more spaces that you will be exposed to yeah so when we come into uh the the sd the screen estate basically obviously yes the screen is a 14 inch display which is a mini led which is very very bright and it's actually looking very good when you're actually editing your content you get it you get to see the true colors of what you're actually editing and the other thing that i like is the playback when i'm doing playback when i'm on my timeline Basically, the response is actually like real time. It's not something that I actually had on my um, my 15 inch, which uh, when I'm especially when I'm doing 4K, sometimes it gets to lag. So I see this one is actually uh, transitioning smoothly between the footages, which is something that I really, really, really appreciate about the performance of this machine. And going back to the display, like I said, it's a mini LED. It's actually brighter. You get to see the true colors of the content that you're actually editing and actually are able to make like a great decision when it comes to color correction and color balancing and, and, and so forth. Yes, it does come with a notch, which I know for some people, they think or believe that it's actually like a distraction and all together, but you still have like a full screen uh, um, available for you to use. You can basically hide your uh, your 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 menu up there on top so that it doesn't become visible or the notch is not actually in your way. And I like the fact that they actually shrink the bezel so much uh, to actually give you more room in terms of the display. So you got a lot of room on the screen. So this is not just a cover, but however, the screen is actually making use of the whole cover uh, whereby you get to see and make use of everything that's on the display. Uh, yep, the dock is still in there. This MacBook is running uh, macOS Monterey. I just recently updated it this morning and which is actually still transitioning very, very great. So I actually like the new display that they have put in on this uh, 14 inch. We didn't have 14 inch previously, but if I were to compare this with a MacBook 13 inch, this is actually obviously comes in ahead. So another thing that I actually like while we're still looking at the display or on the screen side is the webcam. So this, at least now it comes with a 1080 uh, webcam, which is actually greater or much improved than the 720p that they had on the previous model. I actually like, and again, to appreciate that, uh, especially nowadays where most of us are getting to work from home. So the 1080p came in handy and the microphone, I think it's actually much greater. I'm gonna do a test of that. And then you guys gonna tell me how it looks and actually sound in terms of the microphone quality which is good so that um webcam which is in here yes of course it doesn't have a facial recognition facial recognition or face id as we call it from the apple ecosystem so it's actually just a webcam which records videos and can use it for your team's meeting for zoom as well as for facetime and other video related content that may need you to use a, um, a webcam so that's actually it with regards to the screen and 
and then if we come into the pots we actually have a lot of pots which are available now which we didn't have on the previous models i'm talking about uh 2018 going back to 2016 15 somewhere there where we didn't actually get like a full size usb and full size hdmi pods so now on this machine we actually have some of those pods back uh, i've just spoke about this or when we're doing the unboxing and our first impression so i'm gonna touch a little bit and touch the benefit of having this pod so starting this side here we actually have in the make safe this is basically where we're actually charging so when we use the make safe we're basically referring to this uh cable right in over here so this is actually the charger which we'll I might as well talk about it so this is a 67 watt which is a bit less from a bit less than what you get on the um i'm, I'm gonna compare it with my 15 inch macbook which is 87 watt so this is basically the make safe so basically when you actually plug in it's just for me to demonstrate for you so when you plug it in it's basically pulls it in and you actually feel that it's actually holding it's actually uh, very very steady so but when you actually pull it in you will feel the resistance but however it will actually allow you to pull it out it's a bit harder but that's the that's that's basically the idea that when you uh, you remove it it must be resistive so that you get to know whether you're pulling it or not so but i actually like the fact that you won't actually get to trip it because basically if you were to trip it it would basically just go out like that whereas if you are using the usb c to charge it will basically gonna pull everything away which is gonna be a challenge and with that so basically those are the benefits of having the mag safe so it's actually opening up for you to have additional port instead of you having to use the same ports that you're gonna use to plug in other peripherals or to actually connect some other external devices so um yeah that's it with the make safe i'm gonna put this aside uh, just just bringing it just to demonstrate it for you and then uh going further this is the two thunderbolt 4 usb c ports that you can basically use in to connect to uh you can even charge with this you can plug in your peripherals and so forth you can actually uh connect your monitor as well using this to any of these two ports and then you also have in an audio 3.5 mm jack for audio which is very great oh another thing that i would like to talk about is the ports that are on this side so this side we actually have in a full size hdmi it's actually hdmi 2.0 which is um you would actually like it to have hdmi 2.1 but however it is good it supports 4k you can basically have like a full 4k um scale down connected to your display and then you've got another thunderbolt 4 here your full uh sd card slot for you to basically put in your memory cards and stuff to dump your footage and so forth which actually comes in great uh, i know most people actually wanted this to have a full size usb um a which doesn't have but however you have three already usb c's which can actually have one dongle that you can just connect those peripherals that still supports usb a which is really really not that bad and then you can actually make use of the rest of the ports to connect other USB-C uh, peripherals or displays and whatsoever. But now that you have HDMI, it actually takes off the load from you having to do that. And another thing that I would like to appreciate is actually the speaker sound. The quality of the speakers are actually great. I would like to say that they're even greater than the MacBook that I'm currently using. So I actually like them. Um, so let's actually do a quick sound check uh, for you to hear. I don't know if my microphone will be doing justice when it comes into this uh, but let's try so i'm gonna try to find quickly find a non-copyright music and then we'll get to play it so the first step that comes in here i'm just gonna play it and then i'm just waiting for the ad to pass because i didn't sign in with my account here so there's an ad that's playing once the ad is done so the volume is on maximum on both youtube as well as on the was never easy growing up about time i read a book to distract myself from this reality oh it's been a couple years i feel the same and so i'll never really learn this fucking game but i'm here to play it now i don't want to try again yeah 
yeah so the actual sound actually comes out so great what i actually like is you don't actually get to hear that the sound is coming from this side or this side it's actually uh coming out as if it's coming from the middle of the laptop and then you can actually hear it direct i don't know how they managed to do that but this is actually just my observation something that i actually like about that because the sound is actually sort of like personalized to you who is basically using the laptop at that point in time so which is very very great and impressive at the very same time uh so the next thing that i want us to look into is the uh, touch bar so i'm a big fan of a touch bar which this one doesn't have uh, i'm not really making a fuss about it i was actually not happy about it at first but now that i see that the the the, the function keys which are there in terms of like bright increasing and reducing brightness for me the touch bar was actually doing so much justice which i actually really 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 like it makes things easier for me for me to mute unmute increase reduce volume skip track and so forth jump in between the pages i was actually able to do that from a touch bar with ease this one doesn't have but however it does have uh, those function keys where you can actually still use to do your brightness uh, increase and reduction you can do your search you can do your your siri you can bring up siri you can turn it into um what you call it, do not disturb mode you can skip your track you can pause you can mute you can unmute you can increase the volume to the maximum and so forth which is actually great so i'm actually starting to get used to it without the touch bar because i was normally used to scrolling on the touch bar to actually move in between the two sections or reducing or increasing volume or brightness or whatsoever and another thing that i actually like it's actually the, the kept the touch id which is a, everyone's favorite for those with touch ids on the macbook uh touch id is still in there so the power button which is separate from the other keys it still has the touch id you just press and uh, lay your finger over there whichever one is enrolled and then it gets to um open up quickly and going back to <coughs> appreciating the keyboard uh actually like the spaces this thing actually makes it easier for you to type uh, i'm not really a big fan of um small notebooks i don't know why but i feel like it it's actually increasing the size of me making mistakes but this one is actually proven me wrong so i think today is day three uh actually day four since i i i i, I have this netbook with me and i've been trying to use it to sort of like get to use uh get used to it in terms of how it works without having to compare but of course i'm used to the other macbook which is touch bar and a bigger keyboard and a bigger trackpad which this one doesn't have but so far i haven't had any issues in terms of the response performance it's actually much better than the one that i have i didn't do side to side comparison in terms of that but just by me observing uh this is actually performing way faster than the one that i have i believe that the m1 pro chip that this one is running it's actually doing much justice in terms of the uh, navigating between the application and so forth so in terms of specification i'm gonna start again with the uh with the chip so this one it's running uh m1 pro not the max and this one comes in with the uh eight core uh cpu and then uh, and then 14 core gpu basically that is for graphics and then comes in for, with a 16 gig ram and it's a 512 uh, ssd storage and basically i think you can get this even with uh, m1 max as well as a terabyte storage and 64 gig if you want to speak it up to that level which in south africa they don't actually sell those but if you want to buy it like on the apple store you're actually looking at about uh five thousand nine hundred dollars uh somewhere around there if you are buying a full spec 14 inch macbook but the one that i have in particular when it comes into rents this one is costing uh 37,200 rand to be in to be to be specific so that has been my, sorry i don't know why i keep on uh, unmuting this music so that has been my experience with this macbook uh it's done so much to actually be in a position where i can recommend it to someone as their daily driver so i'm not gonna say that i will switch on through this one i'm still gonna go ahead and explore this and i think i'm gonna do just a little bit like a quick overview comparison between this and the macbook pro the one that i have the 15 inch macbook pro that i have with this one i'm not gonna go into performance i'm just gonna go through the look and feel and the design and stuff without having to go into the details so thank you so much for tuning in and this has been my review of the macbook pro 14 inch 2021 and i'll see you guys on my next video bye